I'm Chris Fox, and let's talk product photography. Product photography is one of those things that uh, a lot of photographers, if they're not into shooting weddings and things like that, end up finding themselves doing for as a corporate gig. All companies need to have pictures of their products to put on the internet, to put into flyers, to put into publication, wherever it might be. And whatever that product is, it's a required element of marketing. And there's really something to be said for the value of high quality product photography. It's not only important to make sure that a product is aesthetically pleasing in a photo, it's also very important to make sure that that photo ties in with the company's branding and their message, the persona that a company has, and, and tying it all together into one nice little package that is just a web image. So really what this is all about is my theory on the fact that I think video is the next version of product photography. There's no doubt that for most products, it's easier to sell them when you can really show them in action, even if it isn't something that is normally an action-packed item, like say, a polo t-shirt, right? It's one of those things that doesn't require movement and doesn't require video, but you can portray a message much easier with a video than you can with an image or just an image. That's not to say that images aren't required anymore, but it's certainly, important to tie both of these elements together. So then how do you do video of products, especially products that don't have that active appealing to action element? This is a place where you can really flex your filmmaking prowess and really kind of take liberty with a, a, an image and a message that you're wanting to portray. You have an individual product, but you need to wrap things around that, whether that's people or props or something there in between. So let's talk about a few items that I've got here that I'm just gonna do some product photography just to give an example. Whiskey is one of those items that you can really easily portray some movement and action and flow and still keep kind of a, a classy message that might be associated with the brand. So now here's another item that doesn't necessarily have a real action element to it. it. Makes it a little bit more challenging to create interesting videography with it. Here's what this wooden Buddha statue looks like with just some standard studio lighting around it. Nothing special, no fancy elements or filters or anything like that put on it. And here's what it looks like if you really try to add a treatment to it. What it really comes down to is that both photography and video are absolutely necessary for quality marketing of any kind of product or service. 
I mean, we know that. You cruise the web every day. If you've been on Amazon in the last decade, you understand the value in both video and photo. But there really is something to be said about the message you can portray with product videography. And like I said, this, I feel, is kind of the new wave and, and the new thing that's incoming when you're talking about product photography and then also product videography. Really creating a story behind your product, even on a low budget and even with limited resources. So that's it. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit that little bell because then you'll be notified when uh, I have new videos coming out. And if you have a moment, check out thechrisfox.com. It's where I'm working on a new project to help companies develop not only valuable content, but then also finding the best channels and the route to distribute that content throughout the internet. Until next time.